Hello folks and welcome back to Species. Yes, it's been almost forever, but that's only because, well, last episode lagged quite a lot and it was uh, quite painful and of course I've had quite a lot of other stuff in the way. I, I do promise one episode a week, or I can't promise in the future, but I, I have been promising one episode a week and falling short on the promise, so now it's gonna be more like, well, whenever I can. Uh, and I've also been thinking of kind of doing Oh, look at that. Um, doing episodes a little bit differently. Uh, maybe starting off uh, kind of a new show. Maybe not a new season, but a new kind of show where I don't maybe talk as much. More time lapse or maybe like a nature show. I, I don't know. Uh, species is fun, but uh, playing Species and doing these time lapses can be quite boring, to be honest. Especially when the creatures are so similar and when there is so much lag, lag sometimes. Anyway, things seem to be working just fine this time around. In fact, if I put it on speed 3 there, we're, I'm getting 30 frames per second. But that's probably because the population is quite low right now. And it will keep growing. Now, I don't remember what I was going to do. I was going to do a crazy carnivore thing. I have no idea. I, I, I thought I did that. Uh, the nursery thing not working out as expected. But uh, it's making progress. I don't know where these individuals are coming from. I'm thinking they've escaped from the nursery, uh, but I'm not certain. Like I remember releasing a few uh, specimens over here, but I just watched them go extinct. And so these ones are very curious. Are they actually traveling? No, they they can't have crossed. Or maybe they did, because they are, after all, very similar. Yeah, they probably crossed. That's quite an achievement there. Well, the game, or rather simulation, rather decided to crash there for some reason. I don't, I don't know why. Obviously, it's uh, it's not exactly like a huge team developing this. As I understand, it's just actually the work of one uh, programmer, one guy, uh, not working full time, but just as a side project. Some people in the comments are like, "Oh, this guy should update the game. It's so buggy. He should work more." And you've got to understand that you know not everyone. You know, pe people gotta live, they're not making a living out of this, uh, as I understand, so there's no, like, if he's a scientist or whatever, he's just working, uh, he has to prioritize that over this, and one person uh, can, can't can ju also just, like, fix all the problems uh, by himself, so, just so you know, th things are harder than they seem, and I'm saying that not even being, a, like, I, I don't, actually know how to program at all, but I know for a fact that projects, all the projects that I put myself into are a lot harder than they seem from the outside. Like, people are always like, oh, but you, you know, that's so easy, I just do this, this, and that, but if, <laughs> when you actually get down to it, that would, you know, doing, oh, just this would take dozens, if not hundreds of hours. Oh, yes, it's actually starting to look kind of uh, like we're, we're aiming for it. It has horns already kind of has a, the head we want. This is really cool. I feel like releasing just like a couple of these, maybe one or two, uh, just for fun. Just look at that. Those eyes are weird though, and the neck of course, but otherwise they're pretty cool. Oh, just look at it walk. That That is weird. Uh, oh, this these guys have this mutation of eyes is 
really really odd and what about this it's the same I guess uh, it's kind of working I'm, I'm having to manually feed them and uh, resuscitate a few but uh, it's kind of they're kind of adapting the only problem over here is that there's not much of an environment to speak of oh another m huge migration it seems I think uh, although no the southern populations have changed color they're like whiter now I feel like going in that killing spree I've already begun it uh, but th they keep invading the nursery they don't have any like much of an adverse effect but or a averse averse yes whatever uh, s but I, I still feel like they're in the way in fact how many yeah well I think they take some space and some food and they might kill the the, the specimens we have inside if they're carnivorous our little uh, release experiment failed completely there, but at least, you know, it, it changed a little bit, you know, it evolved. Uh, now we've got these ones, they're nearing their completion as well, uh, but I feel like if we're gonna try to release them, we should probably release them on the southern continent, because that looks like an environment they're more suited towards. You know what, I think it's time to lower the sea levels. They've uh, been quite high for some time. We're going to lower them to the maximums. Because this, the middle area here, that's where most things uh, can live. And, uh, yeah, our release is not going too well over here. I think it, they might actually have gone extinct, no? Yeah, no, I do, I do think so. Let's check the satellite map. Small, small, yeah, no. It's just not out here anymore. Holy shit, there's just so many of them right now. Uh, as you notice, they, they got into the nursery anyway. It's <laughs> This whole the fence around the nursery is kind of broken and annoying. Um, but oh well, let's see what's uh, what was going on here. Let's see, we do have our uh, horned species here kind of walking around. It looks like some of them have escaped the actual... Uh, yeah, there there we go. In fact, I'm gonna officialize your escape by picking you up and dropping you down again. It makes you free. Work makes you free. Oh, come on. We had another crash there. Um, but it's, it's understandable. Oh, that's the tram passing us, if you're wondering. Now... Yeah, I think it's just the map has been running too long. When these maps uh, kind of get old, it uh, they they start uh, causing some problems, and uh, so it is this time. Now, there's such so many optimizations that need to be done. I mean, I really like the concept of the game. It's not like I hate it. Otherwise, I wouldn't have played three seasons. Uh, but it's just. Kind of, it's kind of uh, tiring. Like there's, they all end up looking the same. It's kind of like No Man's Sky. Obviously, there's more variation here than No Man's Sky, because No Man's Sky is just bullshit. Sorry if you're a fanboy of of No Man's Sky, but like, what they marketed was 
far different from what we actually got. Like this here is more engaging and fun, and more with has more variation than No, no Man's Sky. But anyway, since I, the time lapses really aren't working. I know you're gonna hate me for this, but I think I'm gonna end this episode short right here. Um, I really want you to know what you want to see, like I want you to keep doing species or similar games, like notice the or similar games, uh, but in a different style. And I'm curious to know if you'd like it to be some, a sort of nature, nature show or maybe just time lapses so I focus heavily on trying to make, you know, oh, species time lapses where I don't talk and I just shut up. or something else maybe uh it j it just i just like to know that if you have any tips for similar games of course let me know in the comment section below uh, as always don't forget to leave a like it really helps me out a lot subscribe if you haven't already i'll see you later this has been game gabster farewell <laughs>